Hello there. Welcome to AI Cave. My name is AI Elias, and we are going back to the old format of these Kingdom Come Deliverance mod videos. The last two I made focused on individual mods, but apparently those don't suit YouTube too well. So from now on, I'll be focusing on three mods at a time. Hopefully the KCD Nexus will allow for that. Hopefully. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this week's mods. The first mod of today is Noble Swordsman by Dragon04292. While not exactly a mod in the traditional sense, Noble Swordsman is a save game file that allows you to begin a new game as a different kind of Henry, one that knows how to use a sword and has some good equipment to boot. Just grab the gear in the starting chest and deal with the guy that claims to be your father. Didn't you hear me calling you? Why should I jump whenever someone whistles? You should be glad I came at all. That's right, this mod is exactly that, just a save game file with better starting gear and boosted stats. So the main quest is still the same. You're still the same old Henry, son of a blacksmith, so if you really want to keep role playing alive, I'd suggest staying away from the main quest after the tutorial. Another thing to note that's not on the mod page, From the Ashes is required to use this save file, so if you don't have that DLC, you won't be able to load up the save. Next we have a mod by Jovian Stone that improves on Deepwater Horse, a prior mod of his. Check it out in the top right. Deepwater Henry is similar to Deepwater Horse, but now Henry is able to pass through the water barrier on foot as well. He does not swim, as there is no swimming animation in the main game files, but you can now walk through rivers in peace. This mod also added the improvement of slowing down the horse to a trot when it enters the water. This is an amazing change that is definitely more immersive and appreciated. As a bonus, there is also a version of this mod that allows you to pass through the world border as well. Just don't go too far, or you will run into texture walls and areas with no ground collision. That being said, there is some leeway before this occurs, so you will find areas with beautiful forests that you couldn't go in before. They're just mostly empty. I imagine that the version without this feature will be enough for most, but just in case you completely despise invisible walls, the option is there for you. And finally, we come to a mod that I've been waiting for since the release of this game. Literally. Plus, I can make some sexy pan shots without annoying head bobbing that comes with Henry's face-mounted tripod. No, like, it's bad. And I Disable Head Bobbing by Obelix1111 is a very simple yet effective mod that, you guessed it, disables the motion of Henry's head. At last, I can take pans without bobbing and stills without shaking. It's a dream come true. But how does this mod help those that don't record videos? Well, if you've ever felt nauseous while playing the game, this could possibly help further if you've already increased the field of view to max in the settings. Unfortunately, this mod does have one problem, and that's that there is a sudden bob when you step backwards. I don't know if there is any way to alleviate this, but if there is, it would be a great improvement. Along with that, Henry will still sometimes look upwards, but as far as I know, this is part of the game, and not an issue with the mod. Oh, also it doesn't work on horseback. I tried. Well look at that, you made it to the end of the video. As always, links to the mod files are in the description below, and since you're here, why not hit the like and subscribe buttons in the bottom right. Once you're done with that, check out some of this other awesome content, like for instance our KCD Mods playlist. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you in the next video.